making a segment that's now tightly with Velcro, shunting blood from the lower body to the core organs, increasing blood pressure and increasing free load and cardiac output. The main purpose is not to stop bleeding, but to reverse shock and reduces obstetric hemorrhage. It is used to transport the patient to a better healthcare facility in the case of massive obstetric hemorrhage. Placing the NASG. This involves putting the NASG under the mother, aiming for the top edge of the NASG to be at the level of her lowest rib. Close segment one by tightly wrapping around each ankle. Segment two, place segment two tightly around her calf. Closing segment three. Segment three should be placed tightly around her thigh. Segment four goes around the woman with its lower part at the level of her pubic bone. Segment five is the pressure ball. It should go directly over her umbilicus and thereafter close segment six over the pressure ball. Make sure the woman can breathe normally with segment six in place. Also, make sure that you leave the knee free so that her legs can be bent. Removal of the NASG. This happens after two hours whereby patient is stable in terms of her blood pressure and pulse rate measurement. There should be no further obstetric hemorrhage. Removing of the NASG involves firstly removing segment 1. Wait 15 minutes measure her pulse rate and her blood pressure. After 15 minutes, if she remains stable, then remove segment two. And progressively, segment three, after 15 minutes, whereby her pulse rate and blood pressure is stable. However, should she deteriorate, we should then close segment one again, progressively up to segment three. This is to demonstrate a deterioration in the condition of the patient and whereby an ASG is then reapplied. Assuming that the patient is stable, we should then repeat the steps of removing one, two, three, four, five, and six pausing for 15 minutes in between each segment, checking that the patient is stable. 